Hi everyone, this is Matteo from Codeball and in this new episode of Changing Life we are going to meet with Mircha Sandu who will share with us his story and experience uh, as a WordPress freelancer but that's not all, that's not all. He, uh, Mircha will also give us an insider view about working as a Codeball expert letting us know how this experience in a way changed his life so hey Mircha, how <coughs> how's it going and uh, thank you for joining us in, uh, in this new episode of Changing Life we really appreciate it Hi Matt, hi everybody, thanks, it's great being here, um, so, so what was your question? Uh, no, no, let's just start, okay? Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. let, me, let me give you like uh, an easy one to start with, which is um, uh, to get everything started, why don't you tell us in which part of the world are you right now, where are you from, but most, and most importantly, how long have you been a freelancer? Well, um, right now I live in Bucharest, Romania, born and raised here, so never actually moved. Um, and uh, I think, I don't know, I've been a f proper freelancer since I started on Codable. Never actually had a 9-to-5 job, but I was part of a, so let's call it a small agency, local mm -hmm. agency here before that. And before that I did some small freelancing jobs uh, but not so not so concentrated as i'm doing it now okay and would you mind telling us what do you like about the freelancing world i mean why did you choose to start working by yourself and you know you know you didn't you know <clears throat> when you, you didn't go through with your previous uh, business path uh I ended up uh, as I mean I was always attracted to this freelancing uh, side of the world mm -hmm. and I tried to keep it uh, I mean in a way I was doing sort of a freelancing before but only in a team mm -hmm. so the the most important thing for me was gaining independence so that that it all started when I was in high school and I wanted to be free so and then I just kept at it and ended up here so yeah. yeah, mostly it's it's the freedom. Yeah. So yeah. The, okay, the freedom of you know getting setting up your agenda, yes, your schedule, mm -hmm. the clients yeah. you're working and with, probably. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, I've always been attracted to building websites. So mm -hmm. it started when I was very young, and in, it came in a way natural for me to. I mean, building things for the internet, it's easy to work on the internet, yeah. <laughs> easier than other jobs. Yes, okay. And even if we are at the beginning of this interview, of this talk, I'm going to ask you a super tough question right away. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. So what does it take to be a good freelancer? And do you think anybody can be one? For example, I think that off the top of my head, I think that maybe dealing with clients' requests you know, that might fall off the scope of a project or, you know, having tight deadlines or having continuously requested like revisions or planning your time on resourcing, things like this may, <clears throat> might look, you know, as challenges, as, as a challenge. So uh, tell us about it. What does it take to be a good freelancer? Mm, I think, yeah, being a good freelancer, most importantly, and all you mentioned is, uh, I mean, the most important thing is, uh, being able to self motivate so hmm, keeping getting yeah getting getting motivation from yourself because uh, in most of the situations there won't be someone telling you to get working and even if you work with clients all the time which makes it uh, i mean you get uh, pressure in a way to finish things you always have to keep on getting new clients get, getting new jobs and that's very important keeping a constant flow of work and also, in part with this, you have to have a good time management. I mean, you have to to be able to assign uh, effort constantly in a way that makes sense. Yeah. Yes, of course. Totally agree. And what made you look for something new in your freelancing life, in fact, like Code I mean, was there a specific reason, like you didn't like your previous clients or your previous jobs or the way you were working before. So tell us about it. What what made you look for something new in your freelancing life like Codable? Mm, the main thing I think is uh, I was working uh, very long hours before uh -huh. and being very stressed. 
So one morning I said, okay, I'm going to try and make a change. Mm -hmm. So I thought about finding some remote work uh, at that point. Uh, also, I, I tried it before, but now it, it was a different approach. I mean, I was more mature and uh, with more experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I found Codable and I, at the time I didn't really understand how great it is. And <laughs> so, But I applied and... I wasn't really sure I have a chance of getting in. So, ah, really... and and do you remember how, how did you hear about Codable? Uh, I think I found a posting on a job board or something like that. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. Um, and uh, do you remember how long have you been a Codable expert? It's been a while, but I don't, you know. Yeah, it's uh, less than two years. Yeah. So almost two. Uh, it will be two years in June. Yeah. So it's. Uh, yeah, you're with us. Yeah, for quite mm -hmm. some time, so congrats. And yeah, uh, <clears throat> one more question, a little bit deeper uh, mm -hmm. in your path here in Codable, uh, which is what type of project are you, you see yourself strongest at? I mean, do you think, do you see yourself strongest with quick project? Maybe, you know, those type of things that can be done in a day or more complex one that maybe uh, might keep you busy for, I don't know, one week or what, what else? Well, yeah, uh, one week it's not that long, but yeah, <laughs> usually I, I'm, I try to, I mean, the project I like the most is building a, a self-supporting plugin, so to speak. So mm -hmm. building a mostly a backend functionality, which is uh, helpful. And uh, if it's a whole new functionality and not, so not really supported by, I mean, not, not really an extension of a, uh, an existing plugin, it's even better. So that those are the projects I like the most and I find most challenging. And mm -hmm. usually those are like a couple of weeks long. Usually, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> okay, and um, how many projects you worked on and completed? Uh, I think right now I'm over 210 tasks on Codable. Whoa, so um, more than 200. Congrats. Yes. Congrats. Yes, <laughs> and how um, things are going here at Codable? It's great. I mean, it's been life changing for me. I've been able to plan better everything, and I think that's the most important part. I mean, that's what kept me going, and that's what's convinced me to become a full time freelancer on Codable. So I've oh, been, yeah. So for for a long period, I've had like very few clients outside of Codable. It's great, and. Um, yeah, the, I think the most important thing is uh, predictability for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I was able to, I was able to plan better and have a better work-life balance while keeping my freedom and working on projects which I like. Oh, nice! That sounds amazing. <laughs> no, <Yeah. laughs> and um, okay, let me take just a little bit step back to get a wider <clears throat> question, which is if you look at your past freelancing life. And then you fast forward to today. How things have changed for you since you've joined Codable? I mean, are they any different? Um, things have changed in the... I mean, I'm able to plan my day better now. So uh -huh. that's You mean uh, about incoming work? Something like... Yes, also incoming work, but also because I don't have to spend that much time running for clients. Mm -hmm. uh, it, so it allowed me to work... Um, to have a better schedule and uh, work uh, regular hours, so to speak, which sometimes are very good. And mm -hmm. uh, that's a great deal. And also, I've been more relaxed financially because mm -hmm. uh, the income is is safer in a way. Mm -hmm. So it's not... Uh, that That's great. And I've grown a lot uh, technically. So I've learned mm -hmm. a lot of things. I've, nice. I've, I've, I've been in contact with great projects which mm -hmm. i don't think i've uh, had before mm -hmm. and i was able to see problems and situations which uh, are I, I haven't met before from websites which have uh, great big traffic uh, which have uh, a great amount of products let's say for e-commerce or a lot of sales or subscriptions stuff mm -hmm. like that which which was challenging and a great experience to learn yeah. Okay. That's that sounds amazing. Really, it's it's really awesome. And uh, so I guess you must be quite happy about this 
freelancing about your freelancing life that you're building up. So, but let me ask you one last thing. You know, <clears throat> I know some other experts like you after after working with us for some time have been able to travel more. My favorite invest in business, you know, with, you know, buying better software or better laptop or better gear, <clears throat> generally speaking, or uh, somebody uh, was even uh, able to put down some deposits, some savings, like some good savings on, on the side. So how about you? Did you do anything like that? Are you planning to do anything like this? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, I'm currently saving and planning to purchase a house. And mm. that's, that's, that's what a I'm huge planning. one. Not a house, an apartment, but yeah. Yes, yes, so, of course. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a huge it's, achievement uh, in, in, a, in a man's life. I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's the main plan now. And I was also able to buy a new car last year, but. Oh, uh, interesting. Yeah, it was long due. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well uh, that's lovely. I mean, well, I think that's enough for today, <clears throat> Mircha. It was super interesting hearing your story. Thank you for sharing it with me, with us. And once again, I would like to thank you very much for spending your time with all of us. So wish you a great day and talk to you soon. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Bye. It's been life-changing for me. I've been able to plan better and have a better work-life balance while keeping my freedom and working on projects which I like.